Hi, my name is David Bergenson, Chief Science Officer at AWARE. And for the June 1st, 2021 edition of the World Weather Watcher, we're going to be looking at the transition of the Northern Hemisphere into the growing season and some of the implications, especially for North America and into Europe, but also look at some of the evolving drought stress in the central part of Africa, as well as Southeast Asia. So let's get started. The last 30 days, we've been talking a lot about um, the dry conditions uh, for the end of the growing season for Brazil that has impacted corn prices as well as orange and coffee prices globally. But we've also been talking about the dry conditions along the west coast of the United States and the concern this is raising for uh, forest fires as we enter into forest fire season. We also have been talking about the west coast of Africa and how it's been drier than normal and this is a concern especially for commodities like cacao that are concentrated uh, their production in the western part of Africa. And we've also been talking about Southeast Asia, especially the dry conditions that have impacted not just agriculture, but also the semiconductor industry, uh, given the chip manufacturing that takes place in Taiwan, for example. Now, when we look at the next 15 days, we see that uh, for much of the United States, a little bit drier than normal in the central part of the states, but really no cause for concern there. Yucatan Peninsula, though, is extremely dry and continues to be so, as does the central part of Africa. Now, this is a concern, especially for countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, we see dry conditions along the eastern part of China, as well as uh, drier than normal conditions al along much of Southeast Asia. Now, when we pivot to temperature, uh, we've been talking a lot about these warmer than normal conditions along this entire corridor from North Africa all the way through up into Kazakhstan and into the southern part of Russia. And this is of concern because it's also compounded by drier than normal conditions for countries like Kazakhstan. Now, when we look to the forecast, what we see is much warmer than normal conditions for the eastern part of Canada, the west coast of the United States, especially California, parts of Baja, as well as the central part of South America. The central part of Africa, much hotter than normal, which is compounded then with these dry conditions, not good for agriculture. Uh, we see very warm conditions, much higher than normal uh, for the Middle East. This is a concern for human health as these extended periods of high temperature can cause stress. And we also see uh, warmer than normal conditions for the eastern part of China. We see a little cooler than normal conditions though for countries like the Ukraine uh, and warmer than normal conditions for the western part of Europe. When we look at the ratio of precipitation to potential evapotranspiration, this key index helps us understand the water balance uh, important for sustaining rain-fed agriculture. When that value is one, that means that the evaporation is being offset by the amount of precipitation. When that value is less than one, that means that more water is evaporating from the soil than is being replaced. And when that ratio hits 0.8, crops like corn start to experience stress, especially uh, when this occurs during the flowering time or the early stages of crop establishment. This can spell significant losses to uh, rain-fed agriculture. So when we look at the last 30 days, we see that this ratio is, is extremely low for the western part of the United States and Mexico. So these areas are under water stress. We've talked about the concern that this brings to the forest fire season. We also see though that for the northern part and southern part of Africa, as they uh, enter into a dry season, that this ratio is also very low and unable to support rain-fed agriculture. And we see that although the region in Southeast Asia has been lower than normal rainfall, it's still enough to sustain rain-fed agriculture based on this critical index. When we look to the 15-day forecast for P over PET, we see that an area of concern emerging here for the Horn of Africa, which was green the last 30 days and now is turned to red, which means this is below the rainfall required to sustain agriculture when we take into account the solar radiation, the wind, the temperatures, and the rainfall. That index is below the level required to sustain a crop. Now, 
when we look to the forecast for the next 15 days of this critical ratio of P over T, P, T, we see that drier than normal conditions for the central part of Africa, as well as uh, drier than normal conditions for the Yucatan Peninsula in Florida, as well as parts of the Western United States, Eastern part of China and Southeast Asia. When we look to the absolute amount of rainfall that's going to occur across the globe for the next 15 days, we see areas that are basically going to experience no rainfall the next two weeks, such as much of the Western United States, Western part of Mexico and central Brazil, the Northern part of Africa, extending all the way through the Middle East and into Kazakhstan, the central part of Africa, especially the southern part of DRC and uh, Angola, as well as very dry conditions for um, parts extending into Mongolia. And so as the cropping season for the northern hemisphere starts, these areas need to be extra careful about the combination of higher than normal temperatures and lower than normal rainfall patterns, such as countries like Kazakhstan. If analytics like this are of interest to you, I invite you to go to the AWARE website to learn more about how you can get started on weather analytics. But also, I invite you to go to our adapter platform where you can register for free to access free weather data as well as analytical tools to do the kind of analyses I've been presenting here, as well as additional analyses such as charts to end weather trends in your area to understand how weather is shifting and how you can respond to it. Until next week, take care.